It's Cape Chronicle. I'm Jacob McClellan. School is back in session here in Cape Girardeau. Here to talk about the new school year, graduation rates, and a new one-on-one -on -one initiative is Cape Girardeau Public School Superintendent Jim Welker. Thank you so much for coming by. It's good to see you. It's my pleasure. Thank you. So how are things going with the, uh, with the new school year? You know, we've had a great start. Uh, everything seems to be going really well. Um, I think we're up a little bit in enrollment, uh, but uh, everything has so far gone really smoothly. Now, the, uh, the annual rep performance reports came out relatively recently. Yes. Um, in what ways are, are the Cape Girardeau school, is the Cape Girardeau school system uh, showing some signs of improvement right now? Yes. Um, we get what's called the annual performance report each year about this time of the year, and it, there's five standards that it's uh, based on. Uh, and the, our school district went up in almost every category, so we felt really good about that. Uh, we were up in terms of student achievement. Uh, we were up in terms of our subgroup achievement, the different subgroups that we uh, have to measure. Uh, our graduation rate uh, also, that you mentioned a while ago, also has, has gone up significantly. Uh, we're judged on something called the five-year graduation rate, and that rate went up 14%. Uh, for this year up to 86.2 percent. So we're really excited about that. Well, what are some of the, uh, the the programs and initiatives and things that have that have helped boost that uh, that graduation rate over the last five years or so? You know we started probably four years ago or so working with United Way uh, to help target uh, the graduation rate in our school district and we appreciate all the help that they've uh, been uh, through that process. Uh, they helped to identify some, some strategies and things that uh, could be done to help increase that graduation rate. Things like providing a parent liaison to work with parents and students uh, who were behind on credits or uh, not, not on target for graduation. Uh, we also started several years ago a program at the high school called PASS, Preparing it for Academic Success, uh, and a freshman initiative along with that. And what the purpose of this is, is to help keep students on target uh, on grade level in terms of credits so that they can graduate on time. And I think that's really been a, a big help too. So I, I really commend our staff. Uh, I appreciate the help of United Way and some of the things that they've done to help us to get that rate up. We're, and you know, we're still working. We'd like to see it up over 90 percent, but certainly going in the right direction. Oh, were, there, were, there any, um, were there any results from this year's uh, report that where, where the school district wasn't going in the right direction or need some more improvement still? You know, one of the areas is called college and career ready. In other words, how ready are our students to go into college? Um, it includes things like scores on ACT and, and tests uh, such as ASVAB, um, Armed Services Vocational uh, Aptitude Battery. I get, get all the acronyms down. Uh, we actually uh, saw some need for improvement in that area, and, and we're working on that. also includes placement rates. How many of our students are going on to college, and are they being placed in jobs? And um, So that's, that's one of the areas that we're going to kind of focus on. Now, uh, a new initiative for the, uh, for the district that's been, that's been discussed is uh, getting, getting more um, technology into the hands yeah. of students, laptops or, or tablets or, or whatnot, yeah. this one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, initiative. Tell, yes. us, tell us a little bit about that and where that's at right now. Well, we, we actually started over a year ago with a committee investigating one-to-one, -one, which is basically providing a, a device to every student, and we're going to start that. The, through the work of the committee, they decided to start that at the high school and to start it with all students at the high school at once. So uh, the board approved that plan uh, last December, and uh, we have began with the professional development to help train our teachers on how to utilize those devices in the classroom and we'll continue that training through uh, the end of December basically and as of the second semester in January we intend to hand out devices to students. We'll also have some parent meetings and things uh, along the way this fall to help teach our parents about the program, what the expectations are and how they might be used. Uh, we think it'll have just a huge impact in terms of student engagement in class. You know, that's where students are. You know, they, they are so much more technology savvy than many of us are. Uh, and so we think it's just another tool that we can use to help our students to be engaged and to improve student achievement in the classroom. So this will start in, in January primarily with, with high school students it, right now? It will start in January with high school students. We plan to 
bring it down to the junior high starting in about a year, in, in August of, of next year, and start phasing it into the junior high and then into the middle school. Well, what kind of devices will they be using? Well, and we just uh, put out a request for proposal for a device. Uh, we have uh, the criteria developed for that, and, and we're looking uh, for something similar to like an iPad or a uh, touch screen type device, a tablet, a commonly referred to, but it has to have something that has enough battery life, of course, that they can get through the day with it. Uh, we also need a keypad with it so that they can, uh, you know, type on it and everything. So uh, we're, we're still in the process of identifying exactly what that will be, but we do have uh, a proposal out and waiting for uh, bids from different companies. What are some what are some ways that teachers will be able to, to incorporate this into their into, into into their teaching? Well, we believe that uh, they can. There, there's there's all kinds of different techniques in terms of ins instructional strategies. One of the things that that's kind of been popular with with these uh, computer devices is that uh, you can actually send the uh, the lecture or the class presentation home with the student ahead of time, let them watch it at night, uh, the class presentation, and then they come back to school the next day ready for practice or uh, you know additional instruction. It, it's called flipping. So the instruction actually occurs where they may watch a video of the teacher teaching the, the lecture or whatever it is, and then come back to class and they're ready to go uh, in, in whatever additional help the teacher then is a facilitator uh, in that instruction at that point. What's the uh, what's the funding stream for this uh, for this project? Well, for the most part, it it comes from our general revenues. I mean, uh, we have uh, always you know been open to the idea, of course, of grants or additional aid. But uh, for the most part, it will have to come out of our general revenues. So it, it'll be district funded. And are there any estimates on how much the how much that will cost? We have projected a cost of about two hundred and eighty thousand uh, dollars for this initial startup this year. We are also looking at the possibility of leasing the devices, which would spread the cost out over more years and, of course, uh, keep our, our budget a little lower. We've been talking with Jim Welker, the superintendent of Cape Girardeau Public Schools. Thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure, too. Thank you. Ahead, Alligator Gar and their return to Missouri waters. That's just ahead on Cape Chronicle.